So how do you avoid double selling a property when you get a massive portfolio of properties you're flipping to different people? In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I try to stay organized and how you can do the same as you scale out your business. But just know at any time, all the resources you need to go ahead and start and or scale your land investing business can be found directly below in the description area. So let's get into this here. Now, if you're completely new to this, this may not even be on your radar, but if you're starting to scale out your portfolio here, you get lots of deals, it is easy to get confused fast. We need some things to go ahead and keep us organized. So this is exactly what I use, what I invest in to help me stay organized. I can stay on top of my properties and I don't make the fatal mistake of double selling a property. I've already sold once and then I forget to mark that it's sold and then relist it again, sell it again. These things can happen. We want to avoid that. So what do we use? So first things first, when deals come in, when I purchase deals, I have an Excel spreadsheet and it's the county and the state. That's all the deals that I have in that county and state. Next, I set them up in Moonclerk. Now in Moonclerk, every single deal I have, I create a link for it in there and that's my checkout system. And then when someone purchases and they use the checkout system within there, it'll say this person purchases property on this date and I send them a contract via DocuSign. So I have all these different avenues to go ahead and make sure this particular property is being tracked. Now, once it's sold, I'll go ahead and go back to my Excel spreadsheet and I'll copy and paste the link of the Moon Clerk checkout system that I used next to the property. So I know it's sold. And this is the link to all the person's information that just purchased the property. Now, sometimes we might forget to do that. Now, what happens in this case? Let's say we're going through our deals. We're like, wait a minute, this property looks like I haven't sold it here. I would take the parcel number and I go ahead and paste in the Moon Clerk first. This will tell me if I've created a link for it yet or not. And if I did, I can click on that. Within that, it'll tell me if someone has actually purchased the property and then I can go ahead and mark it as sold if I overlooked it. Or if not, then I'll know, hey, you know what? Nobody ever clicked on this link. I still need to blast this one out again to get it performing. And then before I do that, I just check one more time in DocuSign to go ahead and make sure I don't have a contract on this property either. So these are some of the resources I use. Now DocuSign is gonna cost you about $300 a year, well worth the investment to keep you organized. Moon Clerk, they charge, I wanna say 50 to $75 a month I pay for that, but I have a pretty hefty portfolio of deals going through there. So you're not gonna pay that much right off the bat, but as you start to scale out your business, Moon Clerk will charge more. They take a little sliver to deliver, you know what I'm saying? So one final thing I always do, let's say I find a deal and I say, it doesn't look like it's sold. I go to Moon Clerk and there's no link in there. Then I go to DocuSign and it doesn't look like there's anything there. I will go back to the county website one last time and put the parcel number in there just to make sure it wasn't someone that cash at me real quick, right? And they hit me with the money that way and I just did the deed and filed it, but I forgot to mark down that I sold it as a cash deal. So I'll go back and I'll check on the county website one last time, make sure everything's good there, and boom. If everything checks out, we need to get this back out to our email subscribers and see if we can get it performing. So that's how I avoid double selling a property. I know this has happened to several investors because it's not the easiest thing to stay organized when you have hundreds of deals in your pipeline. So that's my strategy there. Take notes on everything so this never happens to you. And if you have any questions about your land investing business or if you wanna jump on a coaching call to help me walk you through your first few deals, go ahead and drop by landflippingmichael.com. You can get all the details on that there. Or like I said, everything can be found directly below in the description area. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next video.